In this video, we will discuss about hierarchical or regional policies with Biptela. Let's use the attached network diagram for this use case. The picture depicts an MPLS cloud to which multiple sites are connected across different geographical areas. By default, Biptela VHS form full mesh sessions with all the other devices in the network. But there are sometimes requirements where you want to regionalize the traffic flows. Requirements that could be like certain services within that region should be able to use the regional data center or hub. So what we will be doing is to split the network into three regions and within that region we will have full mesh connectivity within the branches. To reach other regions, we will use the regional hub as our exit point. We will not only just influence the traffic flow but also restrict the BFD IPsec sessions that the devices need to be part of. For example, region 1 spokes will have BFD sessions only with devices within the same region. The hub devices will have a full mesh with the respective regions as well as with other hubs. With that, let's dig in. Let's look at the current traffic flows. Let's choose VH3, which is a spoke in region 1. Let's go to real time. Let's go to routes. And we can see that it learns all the routes from the VHS directly. Let's also look at the BFT sessions. And we can see that it also has BFD sessions with all the other devices in the network. Let's quickly check our traffic flows. Let's put a destination of 59.1, which is a destination on site 9. And you can see that the traffic flows directly because the BFD session is directly existing between the two. So let's look at VH4, which is a hub in region 2. Uh, let's quickly check the routes. And it also learns all the routes from the VHS directly. Let's also quickly check our BFT sessions. And you can see that it has also has BFD sessions with all the other devices in the network. Let's also quickly check VH9, which is a spoke in region 3. Let's look at the routes. And you'll see a similar pattern. It learns all the routes from the VHS directly. And looking at the BFD sessions, it has BFD sessions with all the devices in the network. So let's go quickly and create our policies. So let's add a policy. The first thing that we'll do is to create sites. So let's go to site and create our sites. So let's create our hub one site, which is site one. Let's create hub 2, which is 4, hub 3, which is 7. Similarly, let's create site list for our regions. So I'm going to create region 1 and 2. So it should be 1, 2, 3, and 4, 5, 6. Similarly, I'm going to create a few other site lists. Creating site list helps us to easily reference them in our policy slate. So we have our complete site lists. Let's create our control policy. So let's create our control policy for region one spokes. Let's call this region one spokes. So let's add our T log policy, which will restrict the BFT sessions. So I'm gonna create a policy which will match on sites for region two and three. And it should reject all the TLOC sessions with them. So it's it's rejecting all the BFD sessions. So I'm going to save. I'm going to create another sequence type, this time for route control, because I want to learn all the routes. I'm going to again match on site 
of region 2 and 3 but change the next hop to hub 1 match t lock i'm going to change it to hub 1 system ip address which is 31 so private 1 encapsulation of ipsec save it i'm going to change the default action to accept let's save the policy similarly let's create a policy for region 2 spokes so let's create our region 2 spoke policy again create a t lock policy and match on site 1 and 3 so region 1 and 3 then reject add a route control policy again matching on region 1 and 3 but changing the next hop to the hub of region 2 which is dot 34 hit 1 encapsulation ipsec save and change the default action to accept so let's save our policy and create a similar policy for region 3 spokes so add our t lock policy matching this time region 1 and 2 Add our control policy again matching region 1 and 2. Which I'm changing the next hub to hub in region 3, which is dot 37. So we have our spoke policies. Let's create our policies at the hub as well. Let's call this hub one policy or hub one. So let's create a T lock policy, but this time match with only a region two and three spokes because the hub needs to have a full mesh with uh, the other region hubs. So I'm just going to match with region two and three spokes. And then reject the routes. So we add a route control policy. And site region two and three spokes. Region two and three spokes. Sorry, region two spokes. And then change the T lock. To hub 4 a sec I'm gonna save I'm just gonna copy this policy and change this to region 3 spokes with the next hop of hub 3 so let's save the default action of accept. Let's save it. And similarly, I'm going to create another policy for hub 2. Let's add our T lock rule and match on region 1 and 3 spokes.
press reject save add our control policy match on region 1 spokes and then change the next hop to hub 1 which is 31 like this up save let's copy this rule and change this to region 3 spokes change the next top to region 3 hub which is 37 save it accept the default now similarly create one for hub 3 and this time match on region 1 and 2 spokes Add our root control policy, match on region 1 spokes, let's change the next stop to hub 1, which is 31, go 581, encapsulation IPsec. It. Let's copy this and create one for region 2 spokes as well. Spokes change the next hop to region 2 hub, which is 34, and then save it. Change the default action to accept and save a policy. And there we have all the required policies. So let's go ahead and click next. We don't need any traffic rules for now so let's go ahead and hit next and let's assemble our policy let's call this regional policy and let's add our site list for each and thing so hub 3 let's add it as an outbound site list for hub 3 let's add similarly for hub 2 Let's create an outbound site list. Two. Add. Similarly for hub one. Hub one. For region three spokes. Three spokes. Similarly, region two spokes. We add one for region one spokes. There we have the complete policy. So let's preview our policy. So this is for region three spokes. So I'm going to match on lock the site list for region 1 and 2 and then I'm going to reject so that it doesn't form any BFT sessions then I have a second sequence which is matching on route to learn the routes I'm going to match again the region 1 and 2 but this time setting the next hop to the hub 3 uh, tlock uh, IP address and similarly for hub 1 if you see I'm going to match the tlock I'm going to match on region 2 and 3 spokes and reject the BFT sessions but match the routes for again region 2 spokes but change the next hub to the respective hub of that region similarly for region 3 I'm going to match and set the next hub to region 3 hub so that's our entire policy so let's go ahead and save and go and activate our policy so policy successfully pushed so let's quickly check so let's go back to VH3 let's go to re real time so H3 is a spoke in region 1 so let's look at the routes now 
and you can see that the, uh, we are still able to see all the routes but the destination uh, or the next stop has changed so it is now pointing towards the hub similarly let's look at the bft sessions now since this is a spoke in region one it has only bft sessions with the hub on the region one and the another spoke in region one so let's quickly check on the edge four which is our hub in region two let's go to real time let's go to routes it also learns all the routes but the destination or the next stop is uh, showing the respective uh, other hubs uh, tlock ip addresses and it learns the local region ip addresses directly so let's look at the bft sessions in the hub you can see it has four sessions two sessions with the local spokes and two sessions with the hub so now let's look at a spoke in region 3 so let me check real time routes and you can see the routes have the next stop has the hub 3 region And let's look at the BFT sessions. And since it's a spoke, it also has only two BFT sessions. Let's go to our traffic simulation now. Let's do a trace route to a destination in region one spoke. And let's do. And you can see that the traffic now goes through hub three and then hub one and then goes to the respective spoke in region one so let's also check for a destination within the same region let's do a simulation and that the same region within the same region the traffic flows directly between the v edges thus you can see how simple flexible and extensible the policy model is which allows us to create any arbitrary topology as desired that's it for the demo and thanks for watching